I'm Kathleen, and this is Joseph, and together we have three kids. Last year was kind of a weird year. It was a year full of lots of learning and lots of change. And we learned that how you end the year can be drastically different than how you started. But it also taught us to celebrate both big moments, small moments, the good, the bad, and everything in between. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 2023. And a lot can change in a year. Let's talk about it. Okay, so in the very beginning of this year, we were in Florida. Why were we in Florida? We moved to Florida last year. But what happened on the way to Florida? Like oh, we no. were leaving we, the cabin. We, yeah, we were in, yeah. we were in Florida because we moved there. Yes. And uh, it just didn't end up working out how we wanted. So on our way there, <laughs> our brand new uh, 2020 F250 that costs a ton of money broke. Mm -hmm. uh, not for the first time, but for the second time. <laughs> uh, we got bad fuel in like Louisiana and um, it ended up taking the fuel system out of the truck. So it broke, had to leave it in Louisiana, had to leave our RV in Louisiana, had to fly to Florida yeah. from Louisiana. Uh, we had like just paid a bunch of money for groceries to get us from yeah, Texas all the way to the Keys. Give them all the way. And we had to give our groceries away. Had to fly a family of five at the spur of the moment. Yeah. <laughs> fly them from New Orleans to Florida. And um, yeah, because one of the reasons why <laughs> I'm holding this. So one of the reasons why we even um, started RVing our second time RVing was to figure out because we knew we wanted to leave and move out of Arizona for good. So we wanted to figure out where we wanted to be and he had gotten a job offer in florida and so we were like let's go we have the rv it's perfect rving in florida in any kind of uh winter months is a nightmare and you better have booked that like a year ago so it was so hard finding anything and then the truck broke down so we stayed in the cabin and it was a whole thing we yeah. were we were like trying to be grateful through it all, but it was a whole mess. And then with Thousand Trails. Yes, that was a whole nother. That was a whole other thing. But let's fast forward. So, yes, it all worked uh, out. We started this year out, 20, uh, 2022, we started out leaving Florida. I got a phone call at work one day when I was in Clearwater, Florida. I got a phone call that said, hey, your truck's gonna be done by this weekend. Yeah. And uh, I said, okay, I said, just make sure for sure that my truck is gonna be done because I'm gonna book a flight as soon as it's done um, and go get my truck and bring her to Florida. Uh, so it was done, I flew out, got my truck, came back the next, the following Monday, I quit. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was done with Florida, I was ready to go. Yeah, I just needed my just, truck to be able to have our fifth wheel to leave. It was just not working out, but the best part about that so let's look at the positive side. The best part about that was spending a lot of extra time with family, with family. that we wouldn't have gotten to, that we wouldn't have gone, you know, gotten to do if oh, we yeah. hadn't had. But after that, we finally were able to get the RV and bring it back. Um, we had to, we left Florida, we brought it back from Louisiana where it was stranded for like two months. And then we headed to Texas. So one of the big reasons, like I said, that we started RVing the second time was to figure out where we wanted to essentially settle down um, and call home. I love that. Um, and so that's what we did. After we got the RV, we brought it back to Texas, we actually went back to Arizona and we committed to Texas, you remember that? Because we went and we got the stuff out of my mom's garage that we have been storing there ever since the beginning of our RV journey. We, um, so we were just like, this is it. We're actually committing. The fact that we're getting all of our stuff and bringing it to Texas was like, this is happening, whoa. <laughs> He's like doing all the work and I'm just talking. After that, it was time to get back to um, where we were staying stationary and finish the RV renovations. So you've, if you've been here for any amount of time, you knew that we 
had that RV for almost two years by the time we finished all the RV renovations. Um, but you know, life gets in the way and um, you get busy and other things take priority. Yeah, when you, li when you live in it, you're not really motivated on yes, and that's taking the other everything thing. out and finishing the yes. work. Yes. Because you, you stay there. So for you to empty an entire room, it's not like it's your house where you can empty a room into another room. Yeah, and you not notice it as much. It's all it's right It's an RV. So if you yeah. empty a room, it's into every room. Yeah. And it's just a mess. <laughs> yeah. So um, we finished the RV renovations. We had friends come and help us finish countertops that I destroyed, and it turned out so good. But little did we know that um, right before that, a production company reached out and was like, we've been following your channel on YouTube and we love to come um, film a day in your life. And we were like, what? So. While that all was happening, we were trying to scramble. That's why we were scrambling to get the RV renovations done because they were like, um, they gave us some dates and it was very, very soon after we had finished the RV renovation. So we were doing that and um, which is why it all started, like all the RV renovations just started happening all at once because they contacted us, which was such a crazy, <laughs> standing behind me. <laughs> which was like such a crazy experience, wasn't it? So, um, <laughs> do it, do oh, it in. I know, I'm like not helpful at all. At first we told them like it wasn't gonna work out, it's too soon, We've, the RV was a mess, nothing was done. Like I said, we hadn't started back renovating and finishing up. Um, and then they postponed it like a month or two and so we were like, maybe this will work out. So we had to do a casting call. And this company is based out of London, right? The B UK? It's BBC London. Yeah, BBC London. And so, um, so that, that was just a whole experience, a whole film crew. Like this setup is nothing compared to what they were using. Like they had the whole thing on their shoulders. Of I and mean, they were the British Broadcast Network. Yes, so and, um, crazy equipment. And so they came and they filmed like a, a day in our life and how it was at the time, which was such an interesting experience. Like, what? Yeah. Like, I mean, they filmed a day in our life like in two days or three days. They did it in, they did it in two days so that they had enough footage so I'm gonna share, I'll share a snippet of the um, show that they actually aired on live TV, which is nuts. Your time is more valuable than the money that you can generate because you will always generate funds, you will never regenerate time. Meet the Whites who quit the rat race in 2019 in search of a slower pace of life. I was working in the aviation field, a lot of hours, very busy, but living that typical American dream. Big house, new cars, very faster pace of living. Inspired by online videos, Joseph quit his job in aviation and they rented a 22-foot motorhome to explore in. That trip started everything to what you see today. As soon as they could, sold their house and bought their own $42,000 fifth wheel RV with three bedrooms. We've been able to make it a home. So when we first got it, everything was brown, from paint to new countertops to just adding decor. So being able to have everybody have their own unique space. This is my garage right here. This is where I get my utilitarian on, uh, where I can have my space. And if they do want a change of scene, it takes them less than 20 minutes to convert home sweet home back into a traveling RV. My children, under the age of 10 have They've done more than we've done. More things than I've experienced. <laughs> We're swapping cars of no, no. But for the past six months, they've stayed put in an RV park in Texas, as Joseph is working in nearby Austin. Let's say bye to Daddy. Bye, bye, Daddy. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Wherever we are, that's where home is going to be, whether it's an RV, a home, the high rise in the city. If my kids and my wife are there, that's home for me. <laughs> okay, so after we renovated the RV and 
filmed all that and filmed the RV tour that was long awaited from two years ago. Um, we actually sold the RV. So we didn't plan, we didn't plan it that way. A lot of people were asking if we renovated it to sell it. It just ended up working out. We actually, like I said, renovated it because we were gonna be on TV. So that's how we, why we finished renovating the RV. So we filmed that tour, listed the RV for sale, and sold the RV. We have a whole entire video of that story, why we quit RV life, and it goes through the whole entire thing from us selling it, giving it to its new owners, explaining why we quit RV life. If you wanna check that out, that'll also be listed down below. So our newest adventure is this. So we originally were gonna buy land. Yes. And do a mini farm. And at the time, land and even now, land is ridiculous. To build is ridiculous, and it just didn't make sense to put our money there. Plus, the doors kept shutting. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much everything that was going that way ended up trending towards like a no answer. Yeah. And uh, that's kind of how we make decisions and we, of course we pray and we feel like once we start getting those, those no's and those doors kind of closing, uh, we feel like that's God's way of telling us like that's not the move right mm -hmm. now, be patient. So with that, we kind of built the store in secret. We didn't tell anybody about it. No. We leased the space, we renovated the space and nobody knew. <laughs> I would suggest that to anybody. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. If I would, I would suggest that to anybody if you have a dream and you want to chase it and you know it may be uh, controversial in your area or to your family, uh, you're only going to get to do this life one time as far as on earth. So if you have a dream, guard that thing, cherish that thing, nurture it like a new baby. How you, If you have a newborn baby, I know in my family we don't just allow everyone in the family to come over until we feel the baby is a little bit stronger. Yeah. So same, same concept. It's the same concept. You're going to have to guard your dream or someone is going to poo on it. And uh, you're not going to feel the same about it. You yeah. may get swayed yeah. when in your heart, you know that that's been placed there and it's something that has been burning inside of you mm -hmm. to where if you um, divulge that information early. You're going to get the naysayers. You're going to get your family members who have never seen this concept or have never heard of it. And they're going to want to protect you by telling you, hey, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do it. That's you know, crazy. Protect your finances. Yeah. Don't do this or that. <laughs> but if you've done your homework, you know what you know. Yeah. It's going to do what it's supposed to do. Yeah. So, so we opened this in August, August, but we were building it all in July. In July. Um, and renovating this. <laughs> yeah. and We did not have a summer. All the things. This summer. No, we didn't not have a summer. Like when we used to RV, we were putting this together. Yeah. So that's what we were doing in July slash beginning of August. If you want to watch the whole story on how we came about this and how this happened and all the things, we have a video on that. I will link it down below. After that, so we sold the RV and uh, what did we do after that? After we sold the RV, we, we moved in here. Place to stay, we, so we moved. <laughs> we moved here, which was a bit of an adjustment, but it was very, very nice and it was needed. It was needed. At the time, it yes. was needed. Um, like I said, we have a whole video on why we left RV life, and in long story short, it was just that season of life was over for us. Yeah. We yeah. have no hard feelings. We had an amazing time on the road. But right now, this is where we're at, and we are just so happy with where we're at oh. now. And it's crazy how much can change in a year. Like, it's it's absolutely insane. Yeah, you always, I don't know, just. Every day, just embrace where you're at. Even even if it's not where you want to be, just embrace that journey to mm -hmm. getting to where you're trying to be. And yeah. Just don't quit. I always tell Catherine, like, I quit every day. So, <laughs> I, yeah. I quit every day, and then at the end of the day, guess what? I started all over again. Yeah. So it is what it is. Um, we also changed our channel name, and previously, <laughs> that thing's about to boil. Oh, hold on. In 
the last thing that we did, or one of the last things we did this year was change our channel name and kind of transition out of RV life. So thank you to everyone who kind of has been sticking around as we try to just navigate where our channel is going. But we did go from Faithbound Travel to Faithbound Family Adventures because honestly, this channel will never fit into a box. Like, it'll never be just one specific thing or, um, or just only about one type of thing because that's just not the kind of content we share. So we really, really appreciate you guys for sticking around as we just figure out where we're going next and what's and what is next because we have a few ideas we just don't ever announce anything until it's happening because things happen and change all the time quickly <laughs> um so thank you so much for being here for being here through the adventure and we will see you in the next video bye guys good job man you killed it you killed it